Hi everyone. We recently got into Terraforming Mars Big Box, and one of the things we noticed when we were doing the unboxing was there's no instructions for how to put all the components in. So we wanted to show you how we put all of our components into the big box. The big box can fit the base game and all the expansions such as Prelude, Colonies, Venus Next, and Turmoil. All right, so let's open up the big box and we'll show you how we have everything inside. So we'll lift the <laughs> farting box. <laughs> so you'll notice that the first thing that we have is I have a special wooden board Ooh. that I got for Stratostrike. I re highly recommend these if you want more than just what they offer from all the Terraform and Mars stuff. I really like this little game board, but I have one of those. Yeah, if you want to flex on all the other peasants that have to use <laughs> the uh, cardboard box or okay. boards. So the way that we have it layers, we have the first tray that holds the game boards on top. So we have both game boards. So we have the original Terraforming Mars game board, and then we have the expansion with Elysium and Hellas below that. And then you can see we have the first tray and the way that we have it in the tray here, we'll slide this over. So the way that we did it on the tray is we have the city tiles and then we have all the unique tiles. So we have all the ocean tiles, the nuclear explosion, the mines, the new tiles that it came with, with the, the dam and then the antenna and all that different stuff. So we put all those into one tray. There we go. And then the second tray, we have leftover city tiles and we have all the green tiles. Yeah, so there's still a couple of spaces. They may add more things here. They say that this holds everything and they're not gonna have any more expansions, but you never know. They have a couple extra spaces in there. The next tray that we have holds all the player cubes, holds all the resource cubes, and then also holds the player boards. And beneath the player boards are more things. However, we find it easiest to take out the cards first. So this box on the side is the cards. So in the box with the cards, we have all of the cards from the different, the base game and the expansion. The big box comes with dividers so we can have it split up. The way that we have it split up is we have the beginning corporations, the regular corporations, then we have Prelude, Turmoil, Venus Next, Colonies, and then we have the base game cards mixed in with all the other expansions. The big box also comes with a special platform to turn the card deck into like a card tower and you can put it there. I find it's kind of annoying to set up and have it there. I'd rather just play with just the regular stack of cards. So we don't really use that. But in the rest of the box, we have styrofoam that it came with. We had to tear one of the styrofoam in half so that the cards would fit. But that's how we have our cards laid out in that box. So then once the cards are out of there, then you can easily get to the different trays. So the first tray that we have up, I'm gonna slide that back over there. It holds the player cubes and the resource cubes. And then the player cubes are all in their little containers, like we showed with the unboxing. So you had the red, yellow, green, blue, and black. And then the resource cubes, they give you two of the trays so that if you're playing on a table, you could split it up and put one on one side, one on the other, so that everyone could reach it without someone having to be a banker. And then next we have all the player boards, but we also have- the Peasant. The player the boards. Peasant player boards. Well, actually the peasant player boards are actually in the bottom of the box. These are at least the dual layer boards that you could get um, for the game. And then we also have Venus Next and the Turmoil boards as well. Those fit right in there. And then below that, we have the colony board, which fits below the other board. And then we have a tray for colonies specifically. So we have all the colony tiles, plus we got the special ships that came with the Kickstarter. So all the colony ships are in here. Then in the other tray, we have the first player marker, which is a cutout specifically made for the rover that they have. And then with the rover, we also include the markers to show you the temperature, the oxygen, and the generations. So those are in there. And then we have the other tray dedicated to turmoil, which has the delegate pieces, as well as all the other little markers that come with turmoil. In this tray section alone, you have all the player cubes, the resource cubes, and then you have colonies expansion, and you have the turmoil expansion. All the pieces fit in this section. So this is a pretty big section holding most of the components to expansions and the board game. So we should slide that out of the way. 
And then the next tray is where I feel they could have made the box a little smaller if you didn't want to try to appease everyone where you can hold all the old pieces that don't have any upgrades. So we slide that aside. It's like the land of misfit toys in there. Yeah, exactly. This is so like, right this is leftover. You don't just want to throw them away or do whatever. So you have all the old green tiles and city tiles. These are the components to make the, the card holder that we were talking about. Then you have all the original white cubes and colony ships and turmoil cubes and Venus next cubes. Then you have all the unique tiles. So really this is just holding all the leftover kind of stuff. And then the last thing, we put all of our rule books and everything at the bottom. Some people will get a plastic holder for all their rule books and they'll put it in the top tray underneath the game boards because it can fit in there as well too if you want to have easier access to the rule books. But we don't really reference them too much. And then you have the peasant boards, <laughs> which are just the original piece of crap plastic <laughs> ones that came with the base game but all that fits on the bottom of the box underneath everything. So you can still fill it, fit it in the box if you don't want to put it on top with everything else. So that's how we fit everything into the box. And now real quick, we'll stack everything back in so you can see. And everything that was in five different boxes all fits in the one box. And that's how we organize our Terraforming Mars big box. What do you guys think? Do you organize yours a little bit differently? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying our content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. And I'm Kenny.